Hello everyone and welcome back to Ashe Urban Planner here in Metro City and today we're going to be bringing some stuff that we saw in the movie Elysium as you can see in this that is the entry clip of the movie we're going to try to build this massive landfill that we have at the start of the movie and also we're going to be building this massive downtown that was converted into some slums and we're going to try to do the same in the outside of the city with this pyramidal building that we have in there. I want to thank everybody for being here and to subscribing to the channel. We are already over 100, but I highly encourage you to continue doing that because I want to continue building a healthy community around some cyberpunk building here in City Skyline. So keep subscribing and wait until the end because I think that I'm gonna be making something very interesting today. Alright, the first thing that you're gonna see me building in here is this massive highway interchange that I had to build it that big because we need to be able to manage a lot of traffic because this neighborhood that is gonna be slums is gonna have a lot of people and everybody's gonna transit these streets but also we're gonna be building these massive mines with some assets from the industry's DLC that they tend to bring a lot of traffic to the area. So we need to be able to hold that up. And right now you're gonna see me building the main building that is just some procedural objects, some props and stuff. And I just wanted to build something that is not that generic because we're gonna be using a lot of the industry's DLC building, but nothing of that looks very futuristic or stuff. And the only thing that we can do to them is to convert them to PO and maybe change the color a bit. And yeah, we need to do that to be appealing to the general theme of the city. But also they are a very big necessity to the people that are going to be living in here because they are not going to come to move to this ugly area that we plan to build on top of here just because they find that to be a little bit fun. No, they are going to come to live here because they can do something to their life, like working and making some money, try to chop something or do something like that. So I had to provide them with this 
stuff that will make them work in here. And living here is going to be a little bit less unappealing. One thing that I found interesting that is happening to me right now, maybe some of you can give me some information about that, is that since like two weeks ago, I am not able to place more than one of the ploppables. Even though if these ploppables are parts like these parking lots, you can see that I had to go to the city and copy them just to be able to place them once again. And I have to do that also with the electricity buildings. Even with this Industries DLC building, I right now cannot place more than one. I don't know if that's something to do with any of the mods or something to do with something in my game. If you know anything about that, you just let me know because this is very... <laughs> Very bothering when you had to go back to the city and copy the building that you want to place in here. Even though that you can go to the find it mode and, and find the same exact building, but you cannot do that because something is not working fine. So if you know something about that, please let me know in the comment section. And maybe you are asking yourself why we left the south exit in the interchange. And that's because this is the entrance to the area that I built, as I told you before, with some residential blocks just to place a train station to provide the hub with some movement in and out. But I forgot to, to toggle off allowing intercity trains and I left this connected to the, to the outside connection. And right now, this is the one that is managing the most amount of tourism. Tourism come to the city, stop in that train station, and then they wait a local train just to bring them to the center of the city. This is the most important right now train station that we have. And I don't want to change that because maybe we're going to lose a lot of money by doing that. But this is becoming to be a very important part of the city that maybe in the next few episodes, we're going to do something to that area.
All right, now we're going to be working in what's going to be the start of today's episode. That is these massive slums that the story here maybe is that 100 years ago, this was a very important downtown and a very beautiful one with a lot of people coming to work, a lot of people living in here, a lot of tourism offices and stuff like that. And then a very important businessman found out that there was a very big deposit of silver and coal. And he started asking the people of the city if he could extract that, maybe asking some congressmen. And everybody was saying no. Everybody was saying no. And then he gave some studies and some tests that he could extract all of that without polluting the city. So they decided to give him the approval to start extracting all that. And after he got the approval, he brought all the machinery. He forgot about the pollution and he polluted all the city and everybody decided to move out. And yeah, the the city was started to get abandoned because everybody, if they could not sell their their real estate, they just got away and left it all closed. And then the congressmen of the city decided to approve the building of a new downtown just to not lose it, all the people that was living in the city. And yeah, everybody moved to the new downtown and they forgot about the old downtown and all these buildings were abandoned. So people that wanted to work in the mines, they decided to come and live in here. And a lot of people that didn't have any place to go, the homeless, the everybody started taking a piece of the old downtown and moving in here. And since the city, the actual downtown and the mines were growing a lot, there was a big need of residential and a lot of people decided just to come here because it was cheap and they could live in here. And then the bad stuff that tend to happen in this type of area started happening, like crime, like a lot of pollution was making everybody sick. And, you know, all the crime activities that tend to happen in these type of areas in some futuristic cities started happening in here. And the actual downtown didn't manage to take care of them. They didn't even send them some trucks to collect the trash. And that's how this big, huge landfill started building up on the front of the slums. And then since nobody was taking care of them, everybody started building on top of buildings. And, and yeah, they started doing stuff like, okay, nobody's taking care of us. We're going to be doing whatever we need to do just to survive. And that's how this part of the city got to be like this.
And even though this looks like something taken out of science fiction or stuff like that, this is actually happening in, in real life. You can see some parts of, of Korea, some parts of China and Japan, where you can see people building on top of buildings because they don't have enough space to build in, in, in actual land. So people that need to live in somewhere, they manage their way to build on top of buildings and stuff like that. Even in Latin America, that's how the, the favelas and their Latin American slums were built, where people just started building on top of building. And yeah, they didn't mind if the building looked appealing, if the look building was like following any guidance or any rules. No, they just managed to have anywhere to live and they build like that.
In the city from this angle, I was able to accomplish our goal of today's episode that was to bring that feeling that the movie gives you when you see this old downtown turn into slums, even though that the buildings in there were very detailed, but in city skylines, you are very limited to the props and the asset that you can find in the workshop. And since this is a very big downtown, I cannot be customizing every prop, every building. And yeah, I had to be copying and pasting all these buildings once again and once again but since i changed the angle and the direction of all of them maybe you don't realize that they are all the same buildings with the same details and yeah i know that i will have to revisit this area and make it a little bit grow with some mid rises and low rises but i'm gonna leave it maybe not for the next episode i'm gonna leave it for to later because i really got tired of doing all the same this type of building is very monotonous and and yeah that's not the way that you get fun from playing city skylight so i'm gonna leave this for maybe the eighth or ninth episode now I think that is the right moment for you to decide if you like or dislike the episode and you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up or thumbs down at the bottom of the screen. And also you can give me your thoughts or your opinions if you think that I should add something or do something different in the comment section down below. And I really, really hope that you subscribe to the channel because that's what we do here. We do beautiful stuff in City Skylines and I know that if you are watching this video it's because you like city skyline so you're gonna benefit a lot for subscribing to this channel don't forget to share the episode hit the notification bell and be part of this community because next saturday you're gonna be watching another different and very beautiful episode of city skyline so see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>
Thank you.